Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, uh, lesson 6.12, we're going to work with estimation in three-digit subtraction. And basically, our question is, how do you make reasonable estimates when solving problems? Okay, so for each number line, um, look at the number line with the arrow. Okay, for each of the number lines. And I want you to tell me and I want you to tell me which hundred the arrow and the dot is closest to. Okay, so looking at a hundred. Okay, 181. The number that's exactly halfway between a hundred and two hundred is one hundred fifty. Okay. So if we're counting, 181 goes to the right of 150, but it comes before 200, right? So just looking at this, wouldn't you say that 181 is closer to 200 than it is to 100? Look how far apart my fingers are, right, compared to this. So we would say 181 is close to 200. Okay, how about 533? Again, the number that is exactly halfway between 500 and 600 is 550. Okay, so is 550 closer to 533? Is that closer to 500 or 600? It's closer to 500. Now, a clue or or something to pay attention to is if the number that we're looking for is to the left of the halfway point between the hundreds, it's going to go to the smaller hundred. If it's to the right, like in 150, it goes to the larger hundred. So 533 is closer to 500. 856. Okay, well, here's 800, here's 900. The line that's exactly in between is 850. So again, 856 is to the right of the halfway mark. So now it's closer to 900. Okay, so that's we need to keep in mind as we do today's lesson. All right. So use number use the number lines to find the nearest hundred for each number. Use the nearest hundreds numbers to estimate the difference. 725. So let's look at 725. Where would 725 be? Well, what's this number? The number that's exactly halfway between 100, 200s is 50. So 750. So 725. That would be exactly in between 700 and 725. Okay, so we put a dot there. Okay, so 725 is to the left of 750 and is closer to 700. Okay, and again, we could measure it too. Okay, so it's, that's about here. And then if we do it to 800, look how far apart my fingers have to be. Okay, so it's closer to 700. Okay, but um, I do want you to kind of start practicing getting to recognize that, oh, it's to the left of the halfway point. So it's going to go back or it's closer to the smaller hundred. Okay, so 700. 287. Okay, so 287, that's between 200 and 300, right? It can't be between 300 and 400 because 200 is less than 300. So keep in mind, we're basically counting, right? And so if you were counting, where would you put 287? Again, the halfway mark exactly in between them is 250. Okay, so 287 would come after 250. Okay, and so, well, I don't know, maybe roughly like that. Okay, 287. Okay, so it's to the right of 250, which makes it closer to 300. Again, if you really wanted to just kind of get a general measurement idea. Okay, so that's about how far it is from 300. 
okay? And this is how far it would take to get back to 200, okay? So it's closer to 300. All right, so now that we've identified which hundreds these numbers are closer to, 700, take away 300, just subtract the hundreds, right? 400. Okay, so the difference is about 400, or an estimate is, is about 400. All right. So find the nearest hundred for each number, then estimate the difference, 672. So 672 is in between 600 and 700. Okay, 672, it's already past 600, but it hasn't gotten to 700. Exactly in between, 600 50. The halfway mark is 650. So 672. 672 would be to the right. So about there. Okay. And so it's looking at this, you should tell that it's closer to 700. But another clue is that it's to the right of 650. All right. So 700 and 309. 309. Well, it's past 300, has not gotten to 400. Exactly in between 300 and 400 is 350. 309, that comes before 350, but after 300. So it's going to be somewhere around there, 309. Okay, so it's clearly closer to 300. And another clue is it's to the left of 350. If it's to the left of 350, it's going to go this way. So 300. 700 take away 300? 400. 765. Write which 200 is in between. 765 has passed 700, but has not gotten to 800. Okay? Exactly in between is 750. Okay, 765 is going to be slightly past 750. Okay, so it's past 750, so it's, it goes to 800. It's closer to 800 than it is to 700. 288. 288. It's past 200 but has not reached 300. Exactly in between 200 and 300 is 250. 288 is to the right of 250. So anything to the right of the midpoint keeps going to the larger 100. And we can tell that it's closer to the larger 100. So 800 minus 300 is 500. Number three. All right. So find the nearest hundred for each number, then estimate the difference. 518. So that's past 500, but hasn't reached 600. This number exactly in between, 500. 50. 518, that's going to be to the left of 550. And so if it's to the left of 550, it's closer to the smaller 100. 173. So again, number halfway in between, it's past 100, hasn't reached 200. Exactly in between is 150. 173. Is about there. It's to the right of 150, so it's getting closer to 200. So 500 minus 200 is 300. Okay, number four. There are 574 people at the game, there are 119 people at the park. Describe how you could estimate how many more people are at the game than the park. All right. 
574. It's past 500, hasn't reached 600. Exactly in between is 550. 574 is to the right of 550. So 574 is closer to 600. 119. So it's past 100. Hasn't reached 200. Exactly in between is 150. And 119 would be about there. So 119 is closer to 100. Five hundred seventy-three is closest to six hundred, and one hundred nineteen is closest to one hundred. Six hundred minus one hundred is five hundred. So about. 500 more people are at the game. All right. So I said 574, closest to 600, right? We proved that. 119 is closest to 100. And again, we proved that. So then we subtract 600, take away 100, 500. So there's about 500 more people at the game than at the park. Number five. At the store, there are 388 apples and 124 plums. Estimate how many more apples than plums are at the store. Estimate means don't give me an exact answer. Give me an answer that's close. So we want to be able to do this quickly in our head. 388 minus 124. Okay. 388 is past 300, hasn't reached 400. So 388 is about there. So 388 is close to 400. 124 has passed 100, has not reached 200. So it's about right there, right? 124 is before 150. So it's closer to 100. 400 take away 100, 300. So there's about 300 more apples. And 328. Monica used 800 minus 200 to estimate the difference for a subtraction problem. Okay, circle the problem that you think was estimating the difference that she was estimating the difference for. Well, 735, that's to the left of 750, so it's closer to 700. And 104, that's just barely past 100, right? So it's closer to 100. So that would be 700 minus 100. Okay, that's clearly not it. 951. Well, the hundreds that that's between is 900 and 1,000. 951 is to the right of 951. So that would be 1,000. And 126 is closer to 100. So that difference is 900. Okay, that's clearly not that problem. So it's got to be that one. And 814 is closer to 800. And 227 is to the left of 250. So 200.
814 is closest to 800. 227 is closest to 200. So she had to have been estimating 814 minus 227. All right, and the last question for chapter six. Lynn has more beads than Ben. Lynn uses 600 minus 500 to estimate how many more beads. Fill in the bubble next to all the problems she may have been estimating for. All right, so 600. We know that 600, if we're doing that, it's either a number that's between 500 and 600 or between 600 and 700. Okay, exactly in between five, between 500 and 600 is 550. And exactly between 600 and 700 is 650. Okay. All right. So let's keep that in mind. So 698, that would be right here. And that would round up to 700. Right? It's to the right of 650. So it's not this number because she says she used 600 minus 500. 602. 602, that's that's like right on top of 600 almost, right? 495, that's almost to 500, right? Okay, so 602 and 495. 602, that's closer to 600. And 495 is closer to 500. So she could have been doing this problem. 590, 590, I'm going to write it above that, 590 is close to 600, so that's pretty good, 511, that's about there, 511, that's closer to 500, so that one works as well, 600 minus 500, 630, 630 is about there, so that's closer to 600. 599. Okay, well, 599, though, 599 is closer to 600. So that one would be 600 take away 600. So it's not that one. So it's just the final two, uh, the two middle problems. Okay. All right. So that's it for using estimation in three-digit subtraction. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.